Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. South America is famous for being macho, but on this year's Dakar, there are some remarkable women riding. They live the whole Dakar spirit. Some of them, maybe more so than the men. And one of them is German Christina Meyer, and she's not intimidated by the boys. She says, first of all, the Dakar isn't so bad for a girl, because it's got a load of fit blokes running around the place. This year, we've got five girls on bikes. Camelia, she's on a quad, and there are some co-drivers in cars as well. So we're not so few as you might think. I kind of like it because, well, it's much fun in the shower in the evening when all the girls are chatting and gossiping around. Like, how was your day? And have you seen that hunky bloke? Naturally, it's a long way for Tina to get to the Dakar, convincing family sponsors to back her all the way. But she says, my dad said you were, you, well, you're just crazy. I was never going to support you. But in the end, now, they are now all my fans. She was a big victim of the cancelled Dakar back in 08. She had a short Dakar 12 months ago when she retired on the second stage. But already she's a bit famous. So what's it like? Oh, people recognize me in Cordoba and Buenos Aires. I had uh, quite a bit of coverage in the papers, on the television, the radio. People were really recognizing me. Surprising, really, but they were all shouting, a woman, a woman. Got some photos taken of me as well. But, of course, it's serious as well. It can be dangerous. I, I found Tamsin, the, uh, the biker from the UK in the dunes, on the third day. She was stuck there for almost two hours and was completely frustrated, about to give up. I stopped and I said, look, my day was pretty rubbish as well, so don't give up. I gave up on the second stage last year. Don't do it. And we got here to the bivouac and we made it together and we're still in the rally. We made it happen. We really drove each other on. Unfortunately, Tina missed three waypoints for the incident. She got a 30-hour penalty. But that doesn't matter. She just wanted to get to the finish, man and woman.